I'm Fiona, I'm Braden's mother. And this is Braden's oldest sister, Tia. Yep, uh, so Tia, um, 26 and expecting our, my first little baby. So Braden's now gonna be an uncle for the second time. And I'm gonna be a grandmother for the first time. Braden was born in Rockingham Hospital. It wasn't till five days later when he actually had the blood test, they saw that he had an extra chromosome and they came in into the ward. My doctor said, I would like to talk to you. And she marched me down the corridor and I thought, oh, this is like going to the headmaster's office. I thought I'd done something wrong. She sat me down and she then explained to me that Braden was Down syndrome. I was a little bit in shock. I just like had a bit of a quiet moment then and went, oh, okay. And sort of went back to the room and then just broke down and cried and cried and cried. My crying wasn't because I now have a Down syndrome child. It was like, what sort of future would he have? That was my most important worry. Was he going to be accepted into the community? I had no idea he was Down, so they did some tests and nothing came back telling me that he had Down syndrome. I always knew the baby was going to be special and, um, and he sure is. I work in a two job. Uh, I work dome and I work my best mate Warren. Uh, so, which do you like? Where do you like working at more, dome or Woolworths? <laughs> yeah, same. You work. Oh, you like working at Woolworths. Yeah, you? yeah. Do you ever get nervous when you're on the checkout? No. <laughs> You think it's important to be confident? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So how confident are you, Brayden? Uh, one, one hour, it's great. 100. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's good, Brayden. Sometimes too much confidence. It can be backlash as well. It yeah, can, so yeah. Can, <laughs> can get him too. into trouble sometimes. Yeah. Don't pull that rain. <laughs> he was doing work placement at a, uh, a supermarket store. And um, he was there for like nine to 10 months, 11 months. And he was promised a, a position there. Um, and then management changed. And then the new management said, oh no, sorry, we don't have a position for him. And I said, he's just spent the last 10, 11 months repetitively coming in here two days a week. Uh, for four hours a day, five hours a day, and promised a job, but you're now saying he can't work here? No, we don't have a position here. Uh, we have to employ other, these other people. And I'm like, no, this doesn't sit right with me. Uh, so I went back in there and I spoke to the managers and I said, and if it wasn't for me going back and saying, putting my foot down and saying, no, this doesn't sit right, um, Braden wouldn't be, you know, where he is today. Uh, but their question to me was, so what can he do? And I'm like, well, have you actually seen all the things he can do? Or have you taken notice of what, he's, what, what he actually does? Have you given him an errand or something to ask him, could he do this and see how capable he is of doing it? They didn't even give him that opportunity. They just said, well, what can he do then? You know, oh, that was a big kick in the face, actually. For him actually being at that, you know, company for quite a long time. We would often sit um, with speech therapists and that and like teach him sentences to say to customers. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of acting. There's so been a lot of, yeah, there's been a lot of, yeah, a lot of role playing before he actually went into work management, uh, work or work placement. So yeah, even at school, like they did a lot of role playing. So they had to actually say the sentences. Um, like, you know, how are you today? Like, you know, when someone comes up to you. So we did a lot of that. So there was a lot of um, grooming before he actually went out into the workforce. Yeah. But you just have to be persistent and keep, you know, just focus on, like I said before, with goals, you know, set a goal. Um, one goal is would be a, the communication between him and the customer. 
So his goal is tomorrow when you go in, you make sure that you say, hello, how are you today to every customer? You know, so just little goals. Yeah. yeah. When, when he feels comfortable and, you know, when he trusts, he's got that trust thing. So if he trusts people around him and he feels comfortable, that's when you'll see the real brain. would give you like do you always oh. want to be on checkout or is there something else you want to try yeah yeah I, I need to try to make coffee yeah I guess uh, I don't my sit one to hop Sally yeah I don't make coffees I make if that like mocha cappuccinos yeah uh, uh, because the one you want me working with best buddies it works at school. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I need more more days to work here. I only work on Tuesday uh first day. I mean so I get more Yeah, I, I need to get more shit. Because uh, so I, I, I need more money to get care. Right, I think that, that's it. Right. I hope <laughs> Hi, Mom. What I want to. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> 